Hey everyone, so it's that time of the year again, uh, where everyone is counting down the, to Christmas. And while some of us um, prefer to eat chocolate every morning, some others like to solve uh, algorithmic challenge. Uh, in the advent of code events, uh, it's pretty popular among the developers. Um, basically, every day you get another um, algorithmic change that you have to solve using any programming language you you'd like today what we'll do is we'll solve the first one using visual scripting so let's dive right in uh, i already read the, the exercise statement and um, basically you have a list of uh, random string and you need to add the first digit and the last digit appearing um, on each line to form a number. For example, uh, one and two give 12. And then you have to sum all these numbers to produce uh, uh, another number. So let's try with um, this example. Uh, I can paste my input here. Uh, the first thing is uh, maybe we'll uh, write a function to uh, get uh, the calculation value. It's uh, the number formed by the first and last digit of the string. So let's pick, uh, I don't know, this one for the example. So we'll create a new, new function, get calibration number will uh, have a string as an input and a value uh, number as an input calibration value so for this we'll use a very powerful tool uh, which is called regular expression um, which allow you to manipulate strings pretty uh, easily regular expression are not that easy but you can do a bunch of stuff and uh, we'll use this um, for example, we want to extract only only the numbers of the strings. And to do that, we'll use the replace all node. And the search value will be a regular expression. So for the example, I'll just uh, put the, this uh, string example. And uh, we will basically replace anything that is not a number by an empty string. So to do that, I need to create a regular expression. To select any number, I have to uh, put zero, uh, 0 to 9 uh, in brackets. And uh, to say that I want everything but numbers, I'll add uh, this in front of the uh, regex selector. Since we want to uh, select everything is in the regular expression multiple times, I need to add the global flags. It's just G. And when I hit control space to display um, the debugging value, I now have the string but without any, uh, any letters. That's good. Now we can uh, get the first and the last character, the first and the last number. Since it's already string, we can concatenate them. 1 and 5 give 15. And um, we need to convert it to a number. So I'll do the cast to number and send this to the output. We will use the input string and not the example I, uh, I made. That's basically it for our function. Let's apply this to, um, to everything. Uh, if I hit play and I hit control space, I have uh, all the inputs uh, in that anchor. So I will need to split it. I will split it by uh, backslash n, which is um, the symbol that uh, represents a new line. So I get an array of every string uh, in my input. And then I'll just uh, apply my function get calibration value uh, for every element of that array. So I'll use a map. And in the callback, I'll just call my function um, get calibration value that we just created. Let's run it. And we get the correct value, uh, 12, 38, 15, 77. To add them, I just uh, need to use a sum node, since it's an array of number. And I get uh, 142, which was the expected output. So now I can use my puzzle output, my puzzle input. And just wait a few seconds, and I get this. Um, so just a little thing about why you have to wait a few seconds before uh, you get the results. 
um, if you were to code this, it would be instant. Uh, when you use the editor in your browser, you get a lot of debugging function that um, make the execution a little slow. But if you were to, uh, to compile the logic you built there, it would be uh, as performant as native code. I get this number and uh, I just have to copy paste it here. And it's the right answer. Uh, let's take a look at the part two. Uh, it looks like some of the digits are actually spelled with letters. One, two, three, four, for example, two, nine. Let's try this. Um, I think I got um, a good idea on how to solve this. Uh, we just had a function of translate number, which will get a string as an input and a string as an output, just named uh, in and out. For every number spelled, we'll uh, replace again with replace all the string number like uh, O N E to uh, the digit number like one. We'll use replace all with uh, this. We'll search for one and we'll replace by one. I could create a lot of uh, replace all uh, not like this one. But we will do things a little bit smarter. We will create an array. We'll create directly an object. In this object, we'll have a few attributes, which will be all strings. And that will be uh, the thing we are looking for and the thing we need to replace it. Now I'll um, use the entries to get all the keys and values in an array. And for each of those elements, I'll use the, the replace all using the key and the value. To do that, I'll look for the key, for example, um, one, and I'll replace it by the value. J let's just cast it to string. And we'll use a, a local variable to do that. Um, it will be called temp and I will do that. First, we'll set the lo local value, uh, the temporary value, value to the input value. And then for each element of this object, we will replace the temp value and set it again inside the loop. The output will be the temporary value. Try it manually. So I have two, one, nine. And for each of these elements, for example, nine, I will replace the temporary value with uh, nine. Hit play. Uh, since this temporary variable is, uh, is already updated, I got already the result, with, uh, which is 219. I just have to put this, and then I'll just add our function just before the get calibration value. This will go in the get calibration value. Now, if I hit play, I get this new number. And let's put it there. They went into the tricky situation where um, there could be thing like thing like this, um, meaning we replace the two here, but the T is now missing to create the eight. Uh, the first and the last letter of uh, each digit can be used to form um, another digit word. So to solve this problem, we will use a different uh, key. We will keep the first and the last letter and we will still have the, the digit. This way, we keep uh, those letters to form uh, the other words. Let's try with uh, the example. If we play, we get the right answer. And uh, we indeed get the uh, 823 be being converted to uh, 8 two and three. So eight and three, and um, here we have the eight three. So let's try our um, input, hit run. And we get this value, finger crossed, the one ends by an E, not an N. Let's hope it's the right answer. Uh, this year, the first change is actually uh, quite challenging. Uh, and it's the right answer. Nice. We get to enjoy the rest of the day before tomorrow where there will be another change in 14 hours. See ya guys.